Today's American Story with Bob Dodson introduces us to a couple of people who are not concerned about rising gas costs. They're driving 6,000 miles this summer in a car that runs on dreams. Sometimes in life you have to get lost to find something. Take you riding in my car, Carl, take you riding in my car. Well, if you don't have a, a particular plan, you're never really lost. <laughs> Roy and Anna Williams set out from their home in Florence, Kentucky this summer to search for the scenes that inspired this song. Get your kicks on Route 66. 7,000 miles, circling the west in a car that's older than they are. Four cylinder motor, 40 horsepower. And no air conditioning. Just the way Henry Ford built it back in 1929. Ford is sure that the new Model A will never become obsolete. Are you having any fun? But its plumbing is 77 years old. This is uh, my radiator recovery system. Oh, yeah? I borrowed this from a friend who works at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> a urine bottle? Round, round, get around, I get around, yeah, get Fortunately, Roy around, can MacGyver anything. An old sock is his gas filter. Oil from dinner, a heat shield. All right, how fast can a man change a carburetor in a Model A? What do you think the chances are of this car making it the whole 4,400 miles without a breakdown? I'm just real excited about getting back. <laughs> here he comes, here comes Speed Racer, he's a demon on wheels. But they put her on to all the postcard places, looking like a Shriner who has lost his parade. You've only got one windshield wiper. Well, and it's just half. <laughs> so Anna doesn't get to see America. No, not when it's raining. <laughs> Riding along in my automobile. My baby beside me at the wheel. Fortunately, Anna is no backseat driver. Well, there is no backseat. Every possible inch is stuffed with extra parts they may need. Got an extra water pump, extra carburetor, extra distributor, and the most important tool. <laughs> This car has been Roy's other love since the Vietnam War. It was nothing but a rusted <laughs> shell. Bought as a joke for a boy who was far away fighting. Was it a toilet seat in the toilet, 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 toilet seat, seat for the front for the seat, front seat, seat just to sit to dry? <laughs> Along the way, Roy, who runs an internet business, bought a high-tech map. In point eight miles. But got so lost, they call it. Amelia Earhart. You know, they always say know. that if you if you build a new house together, it's a real test of your marriage. <laughs> We've done that. How about a trip like this? I always said we will have been married 35 years if we make it back. <laughs> <laughs> a Model A holds only about 10 gallons of gas, if you don't count the can on the running board. Still, it's enough to save some Japanese tourists stranded in Death Valley on a day when it tops 115. Five, five, yeah, yeah, thank you. No, no, no. No, no, little bit, little bit, little bit. <laughs> the best part of their trip is not just traveling to postcard places. Roy and Anna have seen a lot in their 35 years together. No, they lost themselves in America to find something they wanted most. Smile. It's really kind of cool to be part of something epic, almost. I mean, I know it's not. In our but, small world, But it is. in our small world, it is. <laughs> Life is a song. Let's sing it together. We all listen to lyrics that lure us out beyond the limits of our settled lives. Yearn to live a tale that would be told at family tables long after we're done. It's a big trip and something to remember forever. Roy and Anna don't need an epic poet. They wrote their own ending. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, with an American story in Florence, Kentucky. And up next, to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of MSNBC.com, your email questions answered about us.